Today we look at the magic career of Sean Higgins. Higgins played college ball at Michigan, grabbing an offensive rebound over the top of future teammate Nick Anderson in the 1989 Final Four and getting the putback to help his team into the NCAA championship game, which they won. Higgins then decided to forego his senior year at college and declared for the NBA draft, where he was selected by the San Antonio Spurs with the 54th overall pick. Higgins played his rookie season and six games of the 1991-92 season with San Antonio before he was waived. In December of 1991, Orlando was an injury-plagued team and recorded its worst month in franchise history, going 0-15. After being waived, Higgins had gotten interest from Charlotte, Minnesota and Orlando, but he decided the injury-riddled magic would give him the best chance of playing time. Higgins was signed to a 10-day contract on January 10, 1992, and despite not knowing the plays, he had an immediate impact, scoring 13 points in 16 minutes off the bench that night. The next morning, he missed the team bus and flight to Los Angeles, and he had to buy his own plane ticket there. But despite the mix-up, Higgins put up 15 points and 7 rebounds in a loss to the Lakers. After a key third-quarter turnover, Higgins got inconsistent playing time until his two 10-day contracts ran out, and the Magic signed Higgins for the remainder of the season. After three consecutive games where he scored in double figures, in early February, Higgins came down with the flu and his illness coincided with Jerry Reynolds' return from the injury list. Reynolds and Higgins took turns swapping between the injured list and playing the backup small forward position, rotating on and off until mid-March when Reynolds' back and neck injuries finally ended his season. Higgins was trialled as a starter for four games, but he only got 12 minutes a game and he was benched when Nick Anderson returned from injury. Three games later, when the Magic travelled to San Antonio, Higgins asked to play against the team that waived him. Gurkis put him into the starting lineup, and Higgins scored 14 points to help the Magic to a win. Higgins started the next seven games, and he put up a career-high 29 points in 32 minutes in an April blowout over Charlotte. The Orlando Sentinel named him their Player of the Week, and he was thought to be playing himself into a contract for the following season, but after the Magic won the draft lottery on May 17th, everything changed. The Magic had to clear space under the salary cap to make room to sign Shaquille O'Neal, and though they wanted to bring Higgins back and he expressed the desire to stay in Orlando while playing for the Magic in their summer camp, this was before the days of rookie-scale contracts. Draft picks often held out on deals and were tough to sign. While teams could exceed the salary cap to sign their own free agents, they could only use cap space to sign draft picks, and so the Magic had to renounce Higgins amongst a raft of other moves needed to get the cap space to sign Shaq. While the negotiations dragged on, Higgins played well for the Lakers in their summer league, and he was offered a contract with them, which he took. Prior to the season, though, Higgins was waived, later signing with the Warriors, and Higgins then embarked on a journeyman career, including stints in Greece, as well as playing with the Nets, the 76ers, and Portland in the NBA. After finishing his NBA career, he bounced between the minor leagues and overseas before moving into coaching in 2003. In Higgins' 32-game Magic career, he averaged 8.6 points and 2.9 rebounds per game. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Magic career of Sean Higgins. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and check back soon for a look at the Magic career of Stanley Roberts.